guys, it's early morning and it's uh, 10 to 8, it's time to go to school and I'm already ready and after yesterday night when I had to go to the gym and to teach and also I did that uh, voice recording for a long long time like and I came back only at half past 11 at night and today I have to teach three um, classes it would be from 8 in the morning until 20 to 4 with two hours lunch break so oh, I feel so exhausted and today I'm going to show you my typical working day in China in the college this is my teaching building and today I have to climb to the fourth floor and fifth floor was that my students are going to teach their classmates some topics, new words, grammar points and so on. So I think it was quite successful. It's a kind of feeling when you will see your favorite thing, you will feel no hands. Okay. And uh, it can it can make it can it can cause the a general a general boost. Okay, so the classes are over and it's time for lunch. Two hours break. That's horrible, too long, but many Chinese like to sleep, so we have to deal with this. And maybe you should also have to adjust and also have a nap. So it's time to two and uh, ten minutes to two, and we go back to classes. It's a little bit difficult to wake up and feel fresh again. And unfortunately my day is not over because I have to prepare a lot of classes maybe not a lot of but still I have to do some preparation for my next days and for my next week and I also have extra classes on Sunday and tomorrow is my other voice recording day so I have to save my throat a bit so today I'm going just to chill at home and do some preparations and I will also show you my typical day because every day I buy a lot of stuff on Taobao it's, it's food, games, clothes, so basically everything you can see these metal bars I live on the first floor and in my building all foreigners have these metal bars their windows even if you live on the sixth floor doesn't matter and by the way there is no elevator in our building so actually in China in all of the buildings if there are like uh, five or six floors you would never find an elevator so you have to climb the stairs hello to Paul Paul he's like <laughs> he likes to jump 
behind curtains. Now I'm going to tell you how does the delivery work here from Taobao. So basically uh, you order something and your parcel should be delivered by a courier service. And if you live in the private apartment somewhere in the downtown or somewhere like else out of campus, it, they would call to your phone number and ask, okay, are you at home? I'm like, I already came here and delivered your parcel, so open the door basically. If you live on campus, uh, there are different locations for different career offices, and they just send you a text message with a number and the name of the place, and you just go there and you only say a Number, and maybe they'll ask uh, like what's your name or what's your phone number and that's it and you get it you sign your name and you get it so today is a women's international day and my husband told me that okay in Sweden we don't celebrate this holiday so mm, no gifts for you and today I allow you not to cook so you can go and buy some Muslim food at the side street because he really likes it <laughs> so <clears throat> this is how we celebrate International Women's Day in China. Nihao, Sansan R E E. Sansan R E E. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many people outside most of the students they like to spend their time in the dormitories watching TV eating some food sleeping or maybe some of them actually do homework usually it's closed but now the guard is going to open because there is a big truck behind and usually at this side street there are many vendors they sell some street food street food something usually fried and oily actually in this province all kind of food is like horrible because it's there is tons of oil and tons of chili pepper Muslim restaurant it has a green sign and all of them they have almost the same kind of food which is not very spicy that's nice So I just bought eggs with tomatoes and potato with beef and I will come back home and I will show you how it looks like. And here in front of us is a gym, our gymnasium or stadium and there is a small room with some sports machine where teachers can go and train for free. This is, was my typical working day in a Chinese college. Uh, the outskirts of the city and the help this video was kind of useful for you. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. And I wish you would subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching. Guys, here as I promised you, there is Chinese tomato and egg style. And I think it costs about 13 yuan. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, I don't remember. Actually, it's quite a lot. And the other thing is fried potato with beef. So here there is no chili at all. However, this little red pepper, bell pepper, green, it might be spicy just because, I don't know, Chinese pepper is quite spicy. So it might be a little bit spicy, but not crazy.